Hey guys, Sam here, back with another review for you. Sorry I've been gone for a while, um, but I'm back with a review from one of my favourite houses, it would seem. Um, very new house, very, very new indeed, but they are getting a bit of hype now. Um, finally, really. I've had, I've had sense in this house for about six to eight months now, and uh, I thought it would be bigger on YouTube, slash for Grantica, Facebook, but it's not. Um, but you'll have seen it in my spring list, if you've seen my spring list of fragrances, this is Mansera's Oud S. Oud S. As you can see there, you can see it's the bottle, and then the bottom bit as well. Pretty boring, but yeah, simplistic. Uh, nice metal cap as well, which unscrews itself. Quite a heavy cap, and it screws back on there, and sits tight, so you can just do that. And it'll keep it on anyway. It's just a screw, which is quite nice. So yeah, Mansera Zudes came out in 2011. So it hasn't been out actually for that long in the slightest, really. It's been out for about two years now, ish. Um, it's obviously a woody, a woody floral musk. Um, so what you're essentially getting is a huge blast of clean, fresh florals and fresh um, green notes uh, in, in the start off. And then as it goes on, the oud and the musk come in and then go basically just come up from under the surface and then it makes it a musky scent at the end. Um, essentially the notes themselves, bergamot, cinnamon, rose, violet, then at the base you've got um, oud and white musk, um, which is sounds like a decent scent because you've got florals at the top which makes it a bit feminine because this is actually aimed at women, which I'll get to that in a sec. Um, so I think the entrant, the Introduction is more feminine than the dry down. The dry down really isn't that feminine at all because it's white musk and oud, which is quite a masculine vibe really that they give off. So yeah, it does. It, it's interesting how it goes from feminine to masculine, in my opinion. Um, projection and longevity. Uh, projection is pretty good. It, you're looking between anywhere in three to five hours projection. Uh, usually I get three out of it, but depending if it's hot day, I'm sweating. Be about four hours possibly, but yeah, three to five hours I'd say really. Quite standard for this sort of house really. This is actually one of their um, not as beastly for scents. They have got beastlier scents. If that makes sense. So um, they have a lot of scents which are better in the projection and longevity from um, compared to this. So this is their weaker one essentially. Projection though, obviously four hours. Longevity, eight to 10 hours. So that's fantastic for a scent, which is essentially, it's made for the spring and summer. Um, I'm thinking, this is my opinion on it, but I'm, I'm thinking the marketing they've got. Obviously Oud S, I'm thinking it's Oud, with the S is either spring and summer. That's what I'm thinking, because this is basically Oud for the spring and summer. So Oud S, I don't know if that if that makes sense to me, but yeah, Oud S, yeah. Because that's what it is really, it's, because personally I love Oud, and I absolutely love, love Oud. Um, and for me personally, I can't wear a lot of my big heavy Oud scents in the winter, oh, sorry, in the summer, because the two cloying and the this, it really doesn't feel good on my skin when it's hot and I'm wearing a heavy oud scent. Um, I don't like it. Even incense, I don't like incense in the um, in the summer or spring really. But this is good to wear because it's clean and fresh and you've got oud at the base of it as well, which is great. Um, essentially it comes in two sizes. It comes in a 60ml, which is about ye height. Yeah. And then 100ml, which is this one here. Oh, no, it's 120ml, my fault. 120ml which is this one, which is a four ounce. Um, pricing, very reasonable indeed, very reasonable. It's very much like the Montel pricing, which I'll get into in a sec, but your 60 mil runs you about 56 pound, then your 120 mil runs about 100 pound, which is fantastic bargain for your money because the, sense, the amount of compliments you get for this scent is unbelievable, it really is. It's not a panty dropper, it's just a well-rounded scent. Uh, yes, this is for the spring and summer essentially. Um, things to point out for you. Well, firstly, the Montel reference. Are Montel and these the same house? No, they are not. But they are related. They are related in a lot. Personally, this is my take on it. I personally think that 
what this is, Mansera. Mansera is the European version of Montal. So, so Europeans can easily get hold of similar fragrances to Montal because we can't access them really in the UK. So to get Montal, you've got to get shipped in. So I think this is like Europe's version of Montal. And then people in the US, if you like this, I mean, I'm happy to send out um, sample to people if you want to smell smell some of these if you're not sure what they're about if you're in the US or further abroad um, but yeah I think this is the European version of Montel that's what I'm thinking really I asked the consultant who was in the fragrance counter and she said they are related indeed yeah but she didn't say the same perfume make because they are not um, but yeah they're related I mean you can tell by the, that can't you surely if you've seen a Montel fragrance it is similar and the fact it comes in a pouch as well if you've ever bought a Montel fragrance it does come in a pouch um, which sort of yeah pouch so they that comes in that as well you see so um, very similar in that sense really so secondly this is for women this is aimed at women and I guess it because if you're smelling this in a shop for the first time you're gonna think yeah I can see why it's women because it's got a lot of florals to it very clean very fresh um, but I, I, as I did when I bought this I was in the shop for 10 minutes, just smelling the opening, and then I walked around for a bit, came back, and I got the person who was serving me to smell my hand, and I just sort of went, can you smell that? And, and she was like, yeah. Oh, it smells different. Yeah, it does smell different, because it gets masculine at the end of the, at the, end of the fragrance, mid to the end, the oud and the musk come up, the florals drop down, and it becomes a masculine scent. So if you are afraid, and you're a man, and you're afraid of wearing a feminine scent, it's only feminine in the opening. The dry down is not feminine in the slightest much really. If it was a feminine masculine scale, it'd be about here. Because it's opening, feminine, and masculine. So it counts it out, bang, right in the middle. Um Why would you love, why would you hate? Well Well, why would you hate? Well, I'll start with the hate because there's not much hate to it really. Um you might hate it because it's quite a strong scent in the summer. You, if compared to scents like Blood of Chanel, um, Plan Amigo West, uh, Dior Home, them sort of scents, Grey Vetiver, that sort of thing. Um, this is stronger. It's very, very powerful, very, very uh, pungent in a sense. So if you don't like your strong scents, then this might not actually be for you. Uh, why the way to hate it as well? Well, you can't really wear this in the winter and fall. It There, there are better scents from Mansero, which you can wear in the winter and fall. This is strictly for summer and spring. So if you like your scents to be very, very... Um, have a lot of variety to them. This is a very, you can't really vary this in a sense because um, it's very str it's strictly summer and spring, not any time of the year. So, in that sense, if you want your scents, if you want three or four scents in your collection and you want to last, you would do what you want to wear them throughout the year, um, this might not be for you because it isn't actually, it's not made to be a powerhouse in the winter. They have got other scents in their, in their house that they do actually have scents that are made for the winter so I will be putting some out like uh, Rose's Vigny but that's more the summer which you'll see in my summer list coming up in the next month or so um, but yeah that's what I think really why would, you hate, why would you love well the projection the longevity it's beastly absolutely beastly it really is um, for the spring and summer it's incredible and um, secondly the compliments you get from people uh, I live I work with a lot of um people from like uh, Asia sort of way um, you know from Pakistani way that sort of thing and they love this scent I think because they, they realize white musk white musk that smell of white musk is an Ar it's like an Arabic sort of smell and um, if you ever heard of a if you've had essential oils from like Arabia in that, that side of the world you know how what white musk smells like and this smells like white musk in the dry down and my colleagues love this scent so yeah Good, really. Definitely, definitely good. The compliments are very good on this one. Because it's because in the summer, you need to stand out with what you're wearing in everything, really. What you're wearing clothes, fragrances, you need to stand out. And this makes you stand out because compared to things like Versace Mano Fresh, um, Dior Homme Sport, you know, this is different. And if you want something different, that's why you got to love it, because it's different. Um, but... Mansero's getting a bit of hype. I'm going to hype it up because they deserve it. The scents are incredible. They really are. And everyone around me likes them. I like them. It's perfect, really. Not perfect, but it's good. 
in that sense really. Um, not very wearable in a sense that in the winter and fall I wouldn't be wearing this too much in the slightest unless it is a warm day. Um, but in that sense it is very good though, very well rounded scent. So I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Um, which is a very good score. Uh, it's unique enough to hold its own ground against the niche fragrances and it's unique enough to make it stand out, which is what you want to, what a lot of people want with fragrances. You want to stand out from the pack. Um, yeah, so well done Mancera. Keep making fragrances because they are going to. The hype train is on the, lo on the loose. I am pushing it a bit because you'll see me doing more fragrance reviews with Mancera because they are great. Get your noses on them. Selfridges is the place to go over this. Um, but yeah, get some testers out. And if any of you want any testers, I have got quite a few anyway. Um, so if you want them, I'll send them out to you, that's fine. Um, but yeah, eight out of 10. Well played Mancera, Udes. You'll be seeing this in the summer list, I think, as well. But well, hopefully, that'll be out in the next month or so. So, till next time, guys. Have an awesome night. And I'm gonna go to work. Take care.